Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. Hello, you are welcome to the second episode of the 120 Days to Jam Economics with Flash Isaac. And this episode requires us to have a strong background of economics, the real meaning of economics, and also to understand the difference between equations, expressions, and how to solve basic equations in economics. Basic. And I'll try to break them down for you to understand. This is because economics involves analysis, theories, explanations, and even calculations plus graphs. You therefore need to understand from the beginning. The series will start from basis to advanced. It will follow the jam syllabus straight away so that everything is covered plus questions from the flat learn jam application economics what is economics economics is from the word or economia which means the efficient use or utilization of household resources efficient utilization of resources. You are given resources. How do you make the best use of these resources? That is what economics tends to be concerned about. And the main reason for economics is scarcity. That is the main reason why we have to take economics serious. Human wants are unlimited. We want this, we need to get that, we need to take that. But resources are limited. How then do we utilize these limited resources to meet the unlimited needs of people, of human beings? We therefore need to strategize. The most acceptable definition of economics was the one from Leonel Charles Robbins in 1932, which says that Economics is a science subject which studies human behavior. As a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative views. Economics can be regarded as both science and social science subject. And social science. Now, why is economics regarded as a science subject and why is it a social science subject? Economics is regarded as science subject because it makes use of scientific analysis like observation, classification, generalization, absorption. It is also regarded as a social science subject because it studies human behavior. Since economics study human behavior, we take a look at them as a social science subject. Now look at this question from the Flash Learners Jam application. It says, economics is regarded as a social science subject because, option A, because it adopts the scientific method in the study of human behavior. B. Adopts the scientific method 
in production. C is agent of socialization. And D is this with social problems. No. The adoption of the scientific method in the study of human behavior makes it a social science subject. It is a science subject because it adopts scientific method. It is a social science subject because it studies human behavior. So in essence, ethnomics is a social science subject and it adopts the scientific method to study human behavior. That's why it can also be regarded as a science subject. And the next is, economics can be defined as dash. A. Reduction in spending for competing alternative. B. Allocation of resources to alternative uses. C. Economic behavior or small units like the household and the firm. No. Option C is microeconomics. D. The study of economic aggregates like inflation and national income. Option D speaks of macroeconomic. Economics is divided into micro and macro. Option C describes microeconomics and option D describe, describes macroeconomics. So option B is appropriate. It's allocating of resources to alternative uses. And look at this. You know, I told you I'm going to show you the difference between expressions, equations, and how to solve basic equations. You need to be very sound when it comes to calculations because you will need it in economics. You need not be scared because I got you covered. Calculations, graph, everything, you will understand it and your fear shall go. If I say 2s plus 1 or 2a plus 2, this is an expression. This is an expression. We are given values without equal to. That is what? Expression. By the time I say 2s plus 1 is equal to 0, this is an equation. What is the quantity supplied at 14 naira? 14 naira simply speak of price. P is equals 14. Quantity supply is the question. What this question wants you to know is ability to substitute, ability to solve equation, ability to simplify, and ability to find subject, to change subject formula. Are you scared? Don't be. We've not even solved it yet. After solving, you see that you need not be scared. If price is 14 naira, and we are looking for quantities of light, this equation has price P, it has QS, which we are looking for. Anywhere you see P, put 14. That is substitution. So 14 is equals 1 over 4 QS plus 10. Here is bracket. Here is other side of the equal to sign, then here is in front of the bracket. Anytime you are given the bracket, you use what is outside the bracket to multiply everything inside the bracket, which is 1 over 4 times QS plus 1 over 4 times 10. The breakfast should reach both of them. That is 14 is equals. So 1 over 4 times QS plus the same 1 over 4 times 10. Therefore, 14 is equals 1 over 4 times QS. Since they are multiplying, you will simply say 1 times QS. That is QS divided by 4. So QS divided by 4 plus 1 times 10 is 10 divided by 4. 10 divided by 4. Something else you should do. 14 is equals. The LCM of 4 and 4 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times QS is QS. Plus 
4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 10 is 10. So what do you do next? Since you have equal to here, this is 14. A number standing alone is the same thing as divided by 1. This is plus. In mathematics, you cannot add letters and numbers. It is not done. If it were times, it is possible. But so long as it is plus, minus, you don't say QS plus 10 is 10 QS. No. It is only when you are multiplying that you can do that. In this case, QS plus 10 remains QS plus 10. You cross multiply. You do something like this. So this is facing this. 14 times 4 is equals 1 times QS plus 10. 1 times anything, it, it, well, it remains. It doesn't change the value. So this will simply give you 56 is equals QS plus 10. We look for collect like terms. This is QS. This one is normal value, normal number. We bring the number, no, normal number together. Take this plus 10 to meet 56. As it crosses, it becomes negative. To have 56 minus 10 is equals QS. So 46 is equals QS. QS is simply equal to 46. If you understand, very good. If you don't understand, don't worry. There will be more questions and I will explain them later. So thank you uh, for your homework. Open the flash and jump up. Click on question search. Type economics. Answer the questions you can answer. The ones you can't, leave them for the next episode. I'll make sure everything is solved. See you in episode 3.